Yes guys, hope everyone's well. So I'm currently down a mine. Um, never been down a mine before, it's quite fascinating. There's even still some power going down there. Quite strange. Take you for a little walk around. Little cupboard there that's been insulated out. Um, looks to me like someone's probably grown some uh, cannabis or something in there at one point. Probably why the power was still on. We've got a little stretcher. Have to bear with me, I've got to bend around a bit in it. Trying to get the photos down here, it's quite hard to get the photos without a really decent torch. Um, the head torch just doesn't do it justice. So I thought I'd do a little video, show you guys around. Apologise if the video is not very uh, sturdy. Just got to watch where I'm walking. It's like quick sand in places. A little bit of writing on the wall. A few people been down here before. Definitely going to be coming back here for a revisit. Um, probably with a few more people. As you can see, it goes on and on and on for quite a way. Like I said just now, some of this is like quicksand. As you can see from the cement mixer there, that's uh, slowly disappearing into the ground. <laughs> Look at the ceiling. Little droplets everywhere. You could actually get lost in here if you weren't careful. Um, I'm not going to walk in that. Someone's had the uh, common sense to put arrows on the wall to find the way out again. I mean, look at that, guys. Apologies if the video is not very good in the circumstances. It's quite hard. Oh shit, there's a bat up there. Don't know if everyone can see the bat. I don't do bats, so I'm going to walk the other way. Leave him alone.
quite a strange feeling being down there. It's also very wet. My trainers are going to be ruined by the time I get back to the car, but it's worth it just to see this. So I thought I'd better do a video because, uh, like I say, the pictures don't really do it justice. I wanted you guys to see quite how good it is down there. I wasn't expecting the mine to be quite as big as it is, to be honest. As you can see, it just goes on and on. Bear with me a sec, guys. Just going to try and get down the other side. Could easily get lost down there. Hence why I'm not going too far today. Um, I will be coming back with some other guys to uh, have a proper investigation down there. Some string there. I think someone's even tied string to follow back to find their way out. What a clever idea. Let's see if we can go down there, see what's down there. What you found, mate? It just goes on and on, doesn't it? Never ending. My trainers are going to be ruined. <laughs> wow. Thanks. What you say? Wow. Look at the dates on this wall, guys. Capo DI 1949. Noel Clark 1917. R. Whitaker 1944. Wow. Crazy. Gives you a, quite an indication of how long ago people were down there. Absolutely crazy. Definitely one of the maddest explorers I've been on, without a doubt. Take you back the way we came anyway. Big shout out to Foxy Explores today. Mm -hmm. Look what we've had to walk through. Oh. Just finding a route where you don't slip up. So I do apologise if the video quality is not the best. Didn't really want you guys to miss this one. But obviously signal's no good down there. So uh, my only option was a pre-record. I 
if you guys can see that. Um, obviously the quality is crap. Small tins there. Can't quite make out what they were. You can tell the amount of people that's been down here because the amount of string. <laughs> You know it's the string everywhere you go. See that Leon? The string everyone's tied up on the way in. Yeah, and that's about it guys, that's about as far as I'm gonna to go today. Um I will do another video next time I come down there. Hopefully it'll be a bit longer. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, see you on the next one.